Before we get started with the video, just a quick reminder that I'm doing full-time coaching now with insane success, insane reviews. You can check them all out. Find the link down below for my Metafy. If you're feeling stuck, I guarantee you that I will help you climb and get you through any problem, no matter what role, no matter what hero, it doesn't matter to me. I will give you the best coaching session that you can ask for. And to celebrate my full-time coaching, I'm giving away a free coaching session to you guys. So just leave a comment down below with your Discord so I can reach out and contact you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Much love, everyone, and good luck in the giveaway. Okay. So, what have you noticed is working and not working in your games? Um, I feel like this game, I didn't do enough damage. I, I feel like I put out consistent healing. Um, uh -huh. I, think, I think I just didn't have much of an impact outside of my cooldowns. Like, right. where... There were there are instances where I think I got like a few good nades. Like obviously there's like blunders still. Um but I feel like I need to put more impact with damage instead of just going for cooldowns. Right. But Yeah. I mean it's all about yeah. value, right? Yeah. If if you're doing nothing, then you're not being valuable. So whether it's damage, repositioning, healing, like something, right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we're just looking to get value. Damage is one of those ways to do that. But to be able to do that, you also need to be in position to do so. Yeah. As well at the same time. So there's a lot that goes into those decisions almost. So then we need to look at how to set those up for ourselves and how do we get that value almost, right? Mm -hmm. And so it depends where you are in the chain of knowledge and game knowledge and things like that. But well, let's let's look at the game like this today, okay? So the enemy team needs to make, like, you know, you know how space works, right? Yep. That space equals resources, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And vice versa. So, like, if she's stronger than the diva, she wins the space. Da 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 da. Yeah. Which essentially means another way to look at it is a calculation. She needs to calculate that she can win the space. How does she do that? She has her resources, teammates, right? Yeah. Exactly. So, your job is to see. When these people are making those calculations, are they fucking it up? And how can I punish that? Right? Okay. They are. They have to make calculations to take the space. And your job is to punish that. If you don't mm -hmm. have your cooldowns, that increases their odds and their chances when they are at the weakest. Correct? Because mm -hmm. they're going to calculate, take space, settle, and then rinse, repeat. So they're obviously going to be the weakest when they're rotating. Yeah. Because then when they're at the corner, they get their setup again, and then they can get their cooldowns and da 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 da. So we'll look at it through that lens, and then, you know, see what we could do about it. About everything. Sure. I mean, the shot on Sojourn was nice, I like that. Obviously, the nade didn't work out. Yeah. I, I have a I have a thing where if I see a TP, I just expect the Symmetra to pop through instantly. It's... Yeah. Bit of muscle memory problem mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, one sec on the sleep dart as well, real quick. Yeah, so like, they are making a calculation, correct? Mm -hmm. But so are you. Same yeah. thing. Is it? It applies to you as well. You're entering the space. You're walking forward. I think before you have calculated what you're gonna do. Because based yeah. on your movement and your crosshair, it looks like you're gathering information while moving yourself into the open while already being pressured mm -hmm. so that already seems backwards and then we adjust with good line of sight break okay so again the sleep dart right mm -hmm. it is a part of that dueling because that's the whole idea you can use that tool to stop her from taking space yeah but you instantly get punished because now if she knows hey no sleep dart she can you know no sleep, no nade. Boom, yeah. go, go kill. So I think... Probably value-wise, the sleep dart itself is not very valuable. Yeah, Although it is I, crazy. I don't, think, it, I don't think there would have been much follow-up even if I hit that sleep dart. Yeah, you could probably honest. kill her because you hit the body shot, but... It's more, yeah. Not the, not the highest value. Okay. Uh, then what else? Let me think. You said like you're not doing enough damage. 
Yeah, um, I think the defense went okay on first point, but mm -hmm. at, at one point it kind of breaks. I, I think where we lose the defense, I think I played it pretty well, but mm -hmm. it's it's mostly on like the mid part of the map where I'm trying to decide where I can take high grounds and push up to without overextending or being punished. Yeah, I don't necessarily think you're playing this too well though. Is a thing. We'll see. Well, I can look to it. But like, here, okay, so like, just look at it like this. Forget about everything. Forget about like space and everything. Just tell oh. me what this diva just did. Let's put, just put it bluntly. What did she just do? Um, backed onto objective. Playing she's corner. backing away. Cool. Lock that in your brain. Yeah. Okay. So she's backing away. That means that a resource has gone from that space. What do you do? Uh, reset. Take a good position. No, what are Get you doing? Here. Like, what are you doing here? Look. Standing in the open, wasting cooldowns. Oh, why is it a waste? Uh, well, my diva's not full HP. She's not ready to go in. We're kind of still, like, See? regrouping. So it's, it's like... It, it, that's what I mean with the whole... Be it's, it's like it's not synced. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. now, she can just wait that shit out. And now they're gonna, are they going to be able to push you over the next 10 seconds? Apps, easily. You know? Yeah. And then... That's going to make it harder for you to find an angle on D.Va. You can't extend this way. So you're going to be at action for a little bit longer, blah, blah, blah. So, like, you need to learn to read the room, essentially. Mm -hmm. Okay, she does end up going on it. But she went on at half HP. Yeah. So, anyway, you actually literally baited her. Yeah, I, I see how I caused... I was, I was the cause of that there. Yeah. And on top of that, so now she's baited in. She's dead. And now they're doing the TP thing again. So then, look what you do. Like, okay. So D.Va went back. You are going back. Mm -hmm. So when D.Va went back and you threw in a cooldown, that was a mistake. You are going back. And then I throw a cooldown. It's very backwards, isn't it? Literally. Mm -hmm. and, uh, not yeah. pun unintended completely, but like, it is backwards. If yeah. you're going in or they're contesting your space, then they're calculating and you punish that. I mean, she's also guaranteed that there. Or if you had a sleep dart on her, for example. Yeah. You know, you don't have to throw it now, but now would be like pretty guaranteed sleep dart. So, because she's entering your space, she's miscalculating. She's not looking at you. Mm -hmm. You see it? You see the, the, the narrative we're trying to push? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. And so we can go hop into attack, but then that same narrative comes to you. Right? The whole idea is everybody's calculating, calculating, calculating. Can I go into the space? Can I go into the space? And it's your job to say, no, you can't. And here's yeah. why. I have these things to stop you from doing it. And if we use these things before they come into your space, well, it, it, let's keep it simple. It just means that now you can't stop them when they actually do. Mm. There you go. Just keep it simple. Right? And so yeah. if we, let's say we go to do damage and trade, 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 but our diva's backing away and our team's backing away and we're alone, 1vx, that's not very valuable. So... Let's sync up the value. If they choose to give infinite space, you're not going to be the one to stop it. You can go for cheeky pop shots. You can look for something, right? Mm -hmm. But as long as nothing's going to happen within... But when that fight does break out, which it will, then you want to be there to make sure you're catching those people in the open walking out. And so the same thing on attack, right? The difference between defense and attack is that on defense, they have to come into you. Yeah. Which is really powerful because this is a very simple, simple formula. Where are they going? what direction are they looking in and where are they moving towards right mm -hmm. and so obviously if you're like the ar like think of the arrowhead like this is like a, a shield it's impossible to it's very hard to penetrate like this yes yeah and so that's because the tanks at the front and then there's a dps and then there's a support at the back healing that dps so yeah. there's a very impact so if you want to like fuck these guys up and do damage if you're trying to shoot at them like this you can already quickly see that's not going to work yeah. Which is why, if you can, you know, if you're defending, you know where they're coming from. I'll show you. You, you, you. This is a very classic mistake that even your teammates are making. So if I draw a line from the path that the enemy is most likely to take, right? Mm -hmm. And so, okay, if they're here, or they're coming out of spawn here, sure, you can go for cheeky little shots. Not not much, gonna, much is going to happen, but maybe you can get some ult charge. And you move away as they're coming up, right? They're coming up, they're coming up. Yeah. What people like to do is sit here, for example. 
and they come around the corner. What's the mistake? You quickly see how like, sorry, I'll change color. That's a big, big mistake. They're mm -hmm. one VX. They have the entire team looking at them. And as we just explained, that just doesn't work, right? Tank yeah. support. Yeah. Okay, cool. So how do you think you would solve it? Um, how would you use? Mm -hmm. I probably play left side on the door. No, so here, here's the trick, right? So if we mm -hmm. can't approach them from like this, we want to approach them to the side. Yeah. Because then we get instant access to the back line and high grounds are the ultimate tool of aggression. Mm -hmm. Because they essentially allow you to do what we were trying to do. Create an angle. So like, let's say you the, the, the Anna sitting here, right? And yeah. they're standing here. You could go like this and reach around, but then you're on low ground and they could touch you or you come up here. Yeah. Solved. Mm -hmm. So the high grounds are the ultimate tool of aggression. But the point is, right? That like you wait, you, you don't show yourself. You don't waste your cooldowns. You don't waste your resources. You're not one VXing. That's a waste of time. You mm -hmm. chill. Then they walk, walk, walk. You know which way they're coming. They will be here. Tank, DPS, support. And then you peek and make your play with your team. And then, yeah, then you can you have, punish them. Yeah, exactly. Then you have easy access to the backline. And again, you just think of the path that they're coming. You got to think of the way that they're looking. And then you break to the side of that path. Mm -hmm. That's the formula. That's that's the way I view the game. You know, I have to think about if I'm flanking or trying to like create angles. So an attack, you know, you need to create angles. I think where are they looking? How can I get to the side? And most maps are pretty easy, actually. I found, even while teaching like low elo players, I, I've I've gone into maps and been like, okay, so here's the default path, which is designed to be garbage. You move mm -hmm. to the left. Oh, then there's a high ground. Oh, let's try again. And it ended up being the same thing every single time. Just move an inch to the side, have a high ground, and you're done. Yeah. So that's for, for defense mainly. Uh, or even attacking. So when we go into attack, we can skip the attack now. And we can look at that. But just remember when you're on defense, they're linear in the way they have to come. Mm -hmm. And then you need to find a way to approach them. Sync it up with your team. Use the same fundamentals as everybody else. You know, when my team goes in, I want to be there. Da, 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 da. So we can look at defense and see how we do it. But if you want, we can also skip the attack. Um, in like, let's say first point defense would, even if, if my team was, let's say my team was playing on point. Yeah. Should I still go for that angle on the high ground and try no. and engage? Or should I say play where have I to, am no. now? Because I'm. Like in this case, no, because they're stronger than you. Mm -hmm. but let's say you're playing against a team that's like really linear and they suck ass or you feel like you can duel someone yeah go for it yeah you know what i mean go for it like let's yeah. say the life weaver and zara didn't come up here and it's just a sojourn if you were like posturing to go here and you can hear in your like you know you're chilling you're sitting around the wall you're listening mm -hmm. soldier came up here in a slide and then you notice your diva's going up you go up or maybe mm -hmm. you, you ask your diva to go with you then absolutely yeah. why not it's gonna happen you're not gonna die you have nade sleep dart 250 yeah. HP and a diva. You're never going to die. It's about making those calculations. Got it. Depends. You know, if again, the way the formula is, if they are all going here. I uh, say, so yeah. Right? Uh, then you're like, oh, this is an isolated target. They're off alone. I think I can duel them in my space. They miscalculated. Sure, go for it. Gotcha. And then if I use my cooldowns. And I don't get the pick, I would Trying then rotate back yeah. and take this position. To chill, try to get cooldowns. out even further, so you can escape path again. Don't get pushed okay. from behind. Or come back around to this side or whatever. But like, you know, you could start to the side and then walk back and then... Mm -hmm. you know, it depends on your other healer. Maybe mm -hmm. you know you're... Like, you have to predict... Maybe my tank's going to sit here and face tank five people, so they'll probably need me more. Yeah. So it's, you're going to have to read all this, that stuff, basically, which is why we start simple. Just know mm -hmm. your options. Think about the timings. And then hopefully you can start building upon like, well, on this condition, that, right? Because I could tell yeah. you what to do in every single situation, or I could teach you how to figure out every single situation. Yeah. That's my mm -hmm. goal. I want, I that, want you to. Yeah. What I'm trying to get to a point where I can apply the fundamentals in every situation compared to just understanding it in one in one replay and then i can work on trying to do that every every game yeah exactly of... exactly exactly yeah. exactly so that's why everything we said so far applies and that's why i taught you how to think about the game 
with yeah. like predicting where they're coming from think about where they're looking towards and then you know that you can come from the side and you fuck them up because you get instant access to their back lines yeah especially right so like let's say you draw an arrow but they're like this you see so th this mm -hmm. like they're about to turn a corner kind of they kind of have but the back line hasn't so then you just think about where you are now right mm -hmm. and then you think to yourself it's simple isn't it or you solve it for me look this is this is how you're choosing to engage is this it? can you kill these guys no why not because they're in the back line and yeah I'm... they're around a the corner yeah they're not and there's people looking at you they could threaten you and kill you without using their cooldowns shit like that mm -hmm. but let's say they win this space because you gave it to them then what and now they're here now the czar is here maybe soldiers still up here but now the squishies are over here you come to the side yeah. they're in the open you see that you mm -hmm. you have to get them into the open and then come to the side gotcha if they're behind walls, it's not going to do shit. Because then they're not, they're safe. Yeah. And they're forced to come in, remember? Like the soldier and the team is mm -hmm. forced to leave the safety. So that is, again, their weakest point. And it's very easy to imagine. Safe. Yeah. Danger. Danger, danger. Mm -hmm. All of this is danger, by the way. And behind corner, safe. Maybe behind this yep. corner, pretty safe. But the rest of it is danger. And then you can come fuck people up and carry. Because now, again, just the way that it works in general, like with corners, right? By them leaving their safety, it means that you now have time to do damage to them. If they yeah. are at corner, well, this one's fine. She, I don't think she can hide from you here. But like that's because you can kill her before she makes it back to a line of sight break. She yeah. calculated. She's in the open. So like fighting her is correct. That was the correct play. Makes sense, right? Like she calculated. Yeah. She made yeah. that choice. The mistake was, however, that. You decided to use all of your power when your diva wasn't ready. Yeah, there's your I, power, I now. and then there's your team's power as well. Yeah. 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 I'm starting to understand. I think if if I hadn't wasted that cooldown there, I, I kept my diva up and saved my cooldowns, then they would have they would have had to walk into the open space there. Yeah. And I would have then had those cooldowns yep. while they're in danger. You would have saved your Zen as well. Them for that. Your Zen would not be dead right now. Diva mm -hmm. wouldn't be dead. Zen would not be dead. You still have yeah. Much because again, that soldier, and you, where you just killed her, by the way, for context, she went into the definition of like open space and extended and all that shit. Yeah. No? Like, so they do it all the time. So you need to be ready for those. That's how you look for it. That's how you set it up. That's why you create angles for stuff. So then when you have that basic formula, the hard part's going to be adjusting. How close can you stand based on their ultimates and team compositions? Mm -hmm. That's going to be the hard part. And based on your team compositions. The hard part shouldn't... It, it, the hard part is really not going to be the setting up part necessarily. It will be hard, but it's not going to be hard. Oh, it, it compared, like That's easy to figure out compared to like matchup specific stuff that alters... Yeah. All of that, like take, combines all of that information that you need and alters it in many, many, many flexible ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that nade is like just absolute bad it nade. Doesn't make he sense. Corner. He's, they're not they're not contesting space. I could have just he's yeah. yeah like... He's he's already unpeaked. There's no exactly reason to use that nade there. Exactly, exactly. And I can see by his body language that he's moving away. Now he does yeah. move up a little bit, but he's like you know he's kind of jiggling. Maybe he's using the dragon for cover, things like that. Mm -hmm. And so we're missing the the guys who are now like rotating. Again, if I pause here, you can kind of see her, All right? Like, look at the enemies. Like, think about yeah. what I just said. At the, like, where are they in a bad spot and where are they in a good spot? Like, the, the example here, where I'm like... Uh, the, the yeah. Walking through main on car, definitely. Yeah, so what what it defines, like, just, like, look at this and identify it. Use the wall hacks. Who who can you, like, who can you kill? Who can't you kill? And why? Uh, Sojourn, she has, she's in the open. I... I... I don't know if she has a shift, but probably does. But she's not, not playing uh, any like good corners. Yeah, she would have to back up quite far. Yeah. If I had Nate, I could probably burst her pretty easily. Yep. Yeah. And at the same time, I've also noticed that she's the one that miscalculated twice in a row now. So now you yeah. know you can just play to punish her, guaranteed, because mm -hmm. she's yeah. ass. And you can see Symmetra here, but you know if she walks forward, yeah, she's a bit more in the open. 
she's completely safe. Like, so the enemy team isn't in this like crazy bad spot yet. Yeah. Just the soldier is in a bad spot. So I'm not like too amped up, but yeah, we could try to kill her or like, no one's on car. So maybe we'd help our, our um, drunk queen kind of win this space. And when they win this, like she, look, she did it again. Yeah. If I was on the left side there, that would have been. She miscalculated. The only reason it's working is because you're not there to support it. You're mm -hmm. just not punishing their miscalculations. You're not looking for them. You're not seeing them. You're not punishing them. Your mindset should be who is miscalculating and how do I want to up the, like, how do I want to play around that? Like we said before, right? Yeah. I know you get now watching it back. I, that's good. I want you to get that, by the way. So don't feel mm -hmm. bad and, or like keep saying it or clarify things no, 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 no. as that's well. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's good. It's good. Um, so yeah, I mean, like clearly this angle compared to being on high ground, you didn't fall down on purpose. I got pushed yeah. down or edged yeah, or whatever, but it just to re really re-emphasize the points of like how much safer you would feel in high ground or how much more vision you would have or clarity mm -hmm. of something or line of sight breaks or your back's not turned to multiple angles or you get an overview of stuff. So now we're in a pretty awkward spot, but she entered, Ashen popped off. And then same thing. Where are they coming? Like, I just spoiled. It's like this, you know? Yeah. And then maybe go there. So they're coming from here to here. Maybe, you know, they'll turn this corner as well. So if your team is wanting to go like this into them and they are wanting to hold space. Yeah. You can see they are wanting ground. to hold space. You have to walk with them. Yeah. And it's, use your fundamentals to set up an angle. Mm -hmm. So for example, right? If you do not want to be a close range hero and you're scared of like a rush or whatever the fuck, right? Mm -hmm. Go, how, okay, so how do you support your team here? Well, avoiding uh, getting rushed left, down. Yeah. Left room, probably. Yeah, left With room here or here. I can rotate out back to high ground just when they start pushing in as well. And do you see how we're using the fundamentals to adapt our play based on our fears? If we know we can take this space, we can take maybe a cheeky aggressive angle if our team's going to yeah. push up or whatever. But if we're not confident that the team's going to win the space, then yeah, you you make yourself unavailable while trying to put yourself in a position to punish that rotation as much as possible. Got it. Because your teammates are telling a story and so is the enemy. Yeah. If they're pushing up, the same with the diva, right? If she's going back, then we should chill. The yeah. inverse is true. If they want to go in, I want to see you supporting them to go in. And then you have to think about how do I do that safely? But also, you know, so, th so do you see like to me this is like it doesn't make sense you can't see anybody mm -hmm. and you could easily like they're regrouping they're down people they're, they could be doing the making mistakes you could be here getting a nade off or yeah just doing something yeah then if you're like okay i don't like this anymore go back it's just about it's just about like having a check because you never know what you might miss. Yeah. Sure, but I see your team go back. Yeah. 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 So, like, your team is inting here, by the way. Just, that's for content, first of all. But, again, we're paused, so it's much more relaxing to, like, look back on it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't make sense why it doesn't work. It's like the diva that fell back. That was low HP. Yeah. Your team is low. But you're saying, guys, I want you to all in and kill this person. That's, and they haven't even really overextended into your team. Yeah, and they have lots of cover there and they can fall back easily. And your hustle can't see them. Yeah. So again, your team's going to have a really hard time walking through that arrow to get access to the squishies. Yeah. But at the same time, as you've learned, just like this trick here with the high ground, when you let them come in, you get an easy off angle. Yeah. So keep your team alive. They walk in, they walk in. Hey, I want to line a sight. Get a sick nade. Yeah. And honestly, based on your team's angle, because like here, the way I, the way I'll put it is that if the enemy team has to make a turn to see your team, but before they turn, they can just see you on high ground. That's yeah. probably a dangerous spot for you because they can see you before the enemy team, uh, before your teammates. So you might have to yeah. reposition to like a. Again, same thing. If you want, you can be behind your team, but just like something like here 
or here might be safer because mm -hmm. now you have some cover and can see your teammates 24 7 without having to expose yourself as much do you think rotating back on the high ground uh across the bridge would have been better like to the other high ground that, where there's Dennis? yeah this would have been perfect yeah got it yeah 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 then you're pretty much untouchable and again if you're like i think my team's gonna go around the corner though or I need to get closer, then you need to walk up. Da, da, da. And just, that's yeah. it. It's that like it's based on the story they tell and it's based on resources. And so yeah. your job that's going to change the most is really understanding those timings, essentially. Good. Let, let them miscalculate it and be there to punish it. Or create... Like, you're not quote-unquote creating that calculation, but I will bet you money that awkward is doing what I'm talking about. Like, he's not just mm -hmm. nading randomly. He understands how these heroes want to work and then he syncs up what we're talking about now. That's why it yeah. works so consistently. And yeah. it's why it's so easy. That's why... It, like, what you know what I mean? Like, once you make that connection, it's like, oh, yeah. I have control over all of it. Yeah. Again, this guy miscalculating. So, here's some other fundamental issues, right? So, like, again, if we come back to the idea of value, so you can do damage, you can heal, and you can take space. If you're doing none doing, of... I'm not doing any of them. Well, you're, you're taking space right now because you're rotating. You're, you're, okay. You know, you're repositioning. Mm -hmm. But then the thing is, you're doing that while your team is fighting. So they're not getting any damage or, or your support, so they're just yeah. going to die, and then you don't get the space anyway. It's very Whereas risky. If I had done it as the team was falling back, it would exactly. have synced up, and then I could have supported them mid fight with the damage and heals. And... Or I'd come here yeah. earlier. Maybe you didn't push up at all, mm -hmm. and then came back here from the start, sat here, mm -hmm. and flamed your team for being out of your line of sight. Whatever it is, like you know, before the the time I was telling you, you could go here. Don't yeah. you don't have to do that, but just something, either or, are valuable. Um, yeah. Because you're, you, yeah, this is, this is exactly why. You're not getting any yeah. value. Your team is like in it. Like the, t the, the moment they are fighting, they need you. You're not there. So it's really, really important to, yeah, be there. Why are we over here now? What's unfortunate. Uh, like, first of all, this guy's inting again. Very, very, it should be very obvious. When, hopefully, at least with this information now, you can clearly see this guy's permanently making mistakes. Yeah. You don't have to wait long, you know, to farm people like that. So, like, remember the whole idea of the arrow? As Azaria mm -hmm. walking up, and here's the path. The backline moves up with them. So, like, watch, like, just watch, yeah, just watch it. Like, let's see, do they go into the open? You know, are they in bad spots? Like, Griff is now in the middle of the road for no reason on low ground. Moore is on the middle of the yeah. road. Life Weaver standing still in cart. Middle of the road. Yeah, there you go. x is coming back. Maybe. He'll also be in the middle of the road. And so now, you know, if your team is okay and alive, and you aren't... How, how do I say? You, what you need to do is you need to make sure that your team is okay. And then you start the fights from these got like positions do yep. your shit you one shot them because they're anti your team walks up they don't need healing done mm -hmm. but do you think a hotel would have been a good position now even though it's on low ground because if the cop no. is left well no i don't think it's good because you're on low ground and okay. joker queen rizar can just run you down or you have such a long rotation okay especially if they're like in this open area you don't even have to overextend yourself too far here to just get guaranteed value yeah because then it comes back to like, who can fuck me up? And a good rule of thumb is like, most heroes don't have mobility, so like, low grounds are more dangerous. But people do do this, by the way. There's no absolutes. People do use this. Mm -hmm. Maybe like your your team died early and you're sitting up here, and you know the fight's gonna be here. Then sure, fuck it. Again, get that high value nade, cheese them. Your team walks mm -hmm. in, have a good timing. Then they won't push you out. So it's absolutely possible. It doesn't make sense. My, my logic to get there on how it's possible 
I'm thinking about where the fight is. I'm using my team. I'm just, you know, using the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Catching the people of guard, predicting that they're going to be in the open. Pre you know, you have, can look for your walls as your team's walking out. Da -da 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 -da, whatever it is. So we need to minimize. We just need to know when does my team need me? And when does my team not need me? And when my team doesn't need me, can I do damage? And if I can't do damage and I can't heal, then I need to reposition or take space yeah. or start to like use that downtime to set up for these angles so that when your team does need you again, you are being very, very helpful. Yeah. That's going to be like, you know, it's not easy to do, but like that's what should be in your mind. Got it. That's how you're going to get there. That's how you're going to like get the fundamentals. Think about the game correctly. That's why you have to create angles, right? That's why angles are so broken. So mm -hmm. high grounds are so, all these things are so broken. Read your teammates, read the enemy. Like, I'm just pack, like, we can even practice it right now. For example, they're all super safe, correct? Yeah. But if they were to walk out, which they will, you know, the further they get to this, the more unsafe they are, correct? Yeah. Yep. But obviously, if we're down here, the Zarya will just tank grenade. So just bubble it. It won't get any value. Or they're walking at us, so it won't get any value. So to get value, you just move off to the side a little bit with some sort of high ground, and you're good to go. That's a free nade right there on the whole team. Yeah. And, but that, that's how sort of easy this formula should feel almost. It's like, yeah. that's why I go to the side. And I'm here at the spot because I use that downtime where I'm not needed for damage or healing to take mm -hmm. space. You're being aggressive. Taking space is being aggressive. Rotating is being aggressive because it's valuable. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. I want to do something valuable. And the more mm -hmm. value you bring to the team, the higher chance you have of winning. That's why yeah. when we go smurfing, we are no, We just know how to outvalue. Like that's just how you can think about it. If they're wasting all their cooldowns and you're just sitting there like, low, you, it's guaranteed value, right? It's like super yeah. easy. Yeah. So that's as it goes up. That's just something you have to do develop more. How do I get value? How do I get value? How do I get value? And sometimes doing nothing is the most valuable thing. Why? And uh, do, do you remember why sometimes doing nothing is more valuable? Let's say you already have position. Space. Yes. Huh? Uh, if you're holding a position. Yeah, you've already got a position and you're not damaging or healing. Why is this still valuable? Uh, because you're setting up? Yeah, but like, let's look at first. Like, here, I'll show you. Because remember the mistake you made of like using your cooldowns mm -hmm. when your team was going away. Yeah. So like in your head, let's, let's try to say it like this. In your head, this is valuable because mm -hmm. it makes sense to use it. I'm getting value here. She's come in. I'm going to stop her. But yeah. now we know it's not valuable because that, even if it hits or whatever, it's like a low chance. Our team needs us. They're disengaging. It's not time yet. It's not time yet. Yeah. And so, in this case, do you see how doing nothing and just helping... Well, actually, healing your team here would have been the case. Would have been more valuable? Sure. But just for for my explanation's sake, to help you understand when you're in game. But yeah. To not feel like, oh my god, I can't do nothing. Because sometimes... Uh, so, so holding it and not doing anything to save it for that... Exactly. Time ...where they're rotating through the space... Exactly. ...is value because I'm not wasting it exactly. and then losing the fight as a result. You're not know, getting poked out. You know what I mean? And your goal is to optimize, to do as much pressure as you can without obviously losing anything. That's the end game yeah. goal. Exactly. But to get there, to start there, you have so much to think about. All these things we're talking about. So don't worry about like squeezing the optimal pressure and like doing all mm -hmm. that. Like you see other people do. They they have all this, you know, information in the back of their head that doesn't look like they're thinking or whatever, but mm -hmm. it's very developed. It's, it's a lot of these things. Yeah. But yeah. You got it 100% spot on. So it's okay, actually, to do nothing because you have your position. And here you need to... You, you have something to do, right? We can heal. Yeah. That's our value. So we found our value. Making sense? Yeah. Yeah. And so in your head, that's why I'm emphasizing the whole, like... You know, they're predictable. Wherever that arrow is, they're going to walk into the open. When they walk into the open, fuck them up. Hope that your team doesn't hit before that. And good to go.
So like, here, let's look at this again real quick. And maybe you'll see it yourself. So like, think about value. Are you damaging? Does your team need you? And are you repositioning? One, two, three. No. Your team doesn't need the healing. You're not damaging. And so then it's the last option, right? Yeah. There you go. And, and, and by the way, the way that I would think about this when I'm learning is like, I wouldn't be like, damn it, why did you do nothing? The way I would think about it is more optimistic or positive. It's like, I think I should be here. But now I've learned that actually after you win a fight at this point, you can look at the order that they died in, for example. Yeah. Hey, the tank died last. Therefore, they are not going to push out my team. They're going to wait for their tank. Therefore, I can now rotate. Yeah. Boom. You've learned, right? You can see how yeah. you can squeeze out. Exactly. Not like, damn it. I did nothing. I wasted my time. I said, no, no, no. Figure out why. Like you, you thought this was valuable. Figure out why it wasn't. And why could you reposition? Mm -hmm. Simplify it. Yeah. Every every mistake is a learning opportunity. Let's take him to the but oops. And like it, it's like how about this? When you come back to the, it's okay to be here. Yes. Yeah. But do you see when I pause right now? Like why is such a shit spot to be? Yeah. Yeah. I can't see any of them. And There's look, nowhere to use my cooldowns. I can't yeah. block any damage. Yeah. I can't take a 1v1 on your fango for a position or anything exactly but the thing is sometimes you have to come back here because mm -hmm. it's the safest point because you're you're defended by your team i mean if they're I, I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. go ahead go ahead uh the reason i dropped off the right side because i felt like i didn't have good like i i was up on the left and then i felt like i couldn't heal my team enough which is and i, I think i noticed that too late which is why i dropped because i wanted to like try to keep my team up because i only have a zen yeah no, but the point I was going to make here was explaining how we're reinforcing the concept of like, it's okay to come back to these angles, mm -hmm. but when is it okay to? Okay. And what's your, and so, yeah, so what, I, so like, but first we see how shit this is. That's important yeah. for you to realize that like, yes, this is a bad angle. So I never really want to start here. That's the key thing. If you don't start okay. here, what does that mean? This is the safest spot to be, the safest spot to get all your cooldowns back. This is where we end. Yes, not begin. So, it's almost like, where could we start? Well, we could start from here. If we Make it out, live, 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 come back. Yeah. Do I need to be here? Do I need to heal? If the answer is no, do I have a couple seconds? Do I have 20 seconds? Maybe I go long rotation. Do I have 10 mm. seconds? Maybe I go for like, you know, something less valuable. It's based on being able to read like, Maybe you're work with, with somebody or you know their patterns, right? They're really aggressive. Yeah. I can't rotate long. Because if they go in when you're rotating, even though it's really valuable, there you go, right? Same thing. Everyone dies. Yeah, yeah same thing. That's why you need to set up before. So like after a team wipe. Exactly. You then have the time to take exactly. that position. Time for the reckoning. And that's the cycle. And we still hit a fat nade, which is good. I feel like jail would re be a really good position here, like on top of jail. Yeah, you can't get up there without um. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Nothing you can really too much do about that, other than maybe be, you know, if you see your drunker queens over here, be her earlier. Yeah. Right. That would be the only thing to solve it, because if she's choosing to fight here, well, there's no point in sitting here. She's choosing to fight here. Like, let's support her. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it, but. Let's, let's say if you went your fastest and didn't stall, then great. But like, let's, that's it. That's how you... Okay. So we won the fight. Looking like time waste to me, isn't it? Yeah. Very bad. Had you gone high ground right now, had come up on the high ground, you could have been here in time. Yeah. But it makes sense. Hopefully, right? Yeah. 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 There you go. Not getting a lot of value taking a good position while they're down i have the time to rotate exactly. without leaving my team alone to die and i'm in a great position to get value on them while they're defaulting on payload yeah you can rotate and think about where the fight's going to happen all the stuff like this is a lot of time wasted mm -hmm. yeah that was a lot of time wasted and that's why she dies and that was in your control so we see where they're coming yeah yeah that's that's all in our control even if this ints bad. Now, again, it's in our control. Mm -hmm. So if you're like, well, I shouldn't help you because 
my entire team's back here. I'm going to walk up a nano. And that's your control. You don't have to do it. But that's yeah. but the point still stands. We want to be in control. So maybe next time your team will be here and then you're, you're too late. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. So we're just learning how to gain control almost. Okay. Bad sleep. I don't know why I went for that. Yeah, but the, the nade was better. Because at least you caught them while they were coming in. Mm -hmm. And your DPS are still aggressive. But again, what, what should your fault process be when you're choosing to use your cooldowns? Back up. No, what should your fault process be? How do you determine, like, yes, this is a good time or no, this is a bad time? Uh, when they're taking space in the open, they don't have their corners to retreat to or... Yeah. And, but you could nade 1v5. Uh, it, they could be doing all that stuff. So that doesn't mean it automatically would be good, right? Well, they need... And follow-up as so, well. There you go, follow-up. So what you, you should be thinking about is yourself, which you already did, did I? Mm -hmm. You already have all your cooldowns, you know this. You have yep. to think about their intention, and lastly, your teammates. So, like, if this is their line of sight, it, it literally... Keep it simple, but it's possible, so it's what we do, right? When we get to a higher level. I, I, I don't know what level it's at, so I don't feel pressured, like, oh, I can't do this, or if you can, great. I have no idea, right? But yeah. just the end game goal is, like, if I know my Bastion's line of sight is this, and I anti them when they're here, I know that even if he has bad aim, he's guaranteed to kill them before they make it back. Yeah. So that will be your fault process. These are the angles. Because they're miscalculating their resources, I can trust my teammates to hit the shots. You know? And if you don't trust mm -hmm. them, maybe it has to be further. But whatever. At least have a base, like, a starting point of, like, are my team going to at least capitalize on it? Yeah. There you go. Great. Now you know exactly how to create value. I'm trying to think if I missed something there. But sounds good to me. Ah, oh, lucky. It was close. I was trying to hide. Yeah, which is good. Which is good. So, you know, it's going to require you to have good map knowledge as well. Obviously. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, same thing, man. Do it again. So where, where are they coming from? Where's the fight going to happen? And how do you get to the side of the arrow and sync it up with your team? Um, They're going to come around the corner by the mega. So I'd either go high ground here. So they're going here. Yeah. And then nade them as, as they're pushing around the corner. Or I could play like right side maybe. Like by the... Yeah, so there's lots of ways to play this. Yeah. There are. All of them are correct. All of them. It's, it just depends on what are they playing. What are their habits? Where's the fight happening? Mm -hmm. Does my team need me or not? All these things we talked about, right? So yeah. let's figure it out. If we predict the fight's going to be... You think it's going to be here? You think it's going to be here? Probably here? second one. Second one? Okay. So we predict the fight's going to be like around here. It's going to be like that. Yeah. Looking this way most likely. Maybe underneath here. Maybe back here. You know, these, these areas. Mm -hmm. So then we need to find a way to approach that. So obviously, there's like very limited options. That's that's why I think it's like kind of easy once you start thinking about it, right? Yeah. Like you can come here and flank. What's the downside of like coming here and flanking? Punished easily. Yeah, but the upside is it's also easier for you to punish. Yeah. So there's upsides, but there's big downsides. What are upsides of coming here? Easy nades, good position, high ground. Yeah, but there's downsides to it. Can't heal my team. Can't heal your team, and you, back. and you can't see this angle. You can't see un underneath. Yeah. Okay, and there's more options. You know, we can still sit with our team. But remember what I what I told the, the those players. So what the solve was. You just move to the side. Yeah. Shit path. Right oh look. So if you want to play with your team, well, literally just look the high ground with cover mm -hmm. the whole way through, and then your spidey senses go. Wait a second. I'm chilling here, but I can't see this path. So I could be in danger from here. So I'm not going to sit scoped yeah. in and be clueless. I like this position. I know where the fight's happening. Yeah. And I then I think about my frets. So yeah, I mean, there's lots of ways, lots of skills we need to develop. And it all comes from the same thing. 
where's the fight mm -hmm. happening map knowledge mm -hmm. just start with like literally like what can i hold get out of the default think about where you can have the most uptime yeah high ground is safe corners are safe them in the open is on uh, is safe done and you go from there right yeah so like here yeah so like you're choosing to do the rotation when in the middle of the fight exactly why it's a good question if I, I should have been there like ages ago unlucky same thing with the coolants mm -hmm. nade i'm okay with but sleep there doesn't make sense so oh, sure it's a little unlucky we want to save her because we can't see her but you random ass sleep. yeah but if you can't have that feeling of like now this makes sense i can now identify mm -hmm. good and bad to a certain degree yeah. i i mean i've done my job and that that's good enough for you to start working with right yeah so yeah perfect uh a lot of things are visible in a way like a lot of the things that i see people break down with is gathering information a lot of the other players say i have bad aim or i don't know what to do and they're all wrong almost every single player i've worked with has good aim and knows what to do mm -hmm. they just can't gather information correctly yeah so if you're driving blindfolded how the hell are you supposed to make a good decision so you know i'm not saying that's necessarily the case here but it comes to the case of the, the sleep dart almost it's like you'll see them in the open now you'll see them making that mistake you know what i mean yeah and then you have that information you know what to do it's just you're getting that order backwards now yeah your team's anything here another skill to develop is like if my team is turbo anything i can't do anything about it then me healing them is not going to do anything and me damaging them is not going to do anything so then you see it just comes back to exactly to the next fight and re mm -hmm. reset the formula do it again there you go so you can be wrong you can leave winnable fights and you can also stay in lost fights you know you're never gonna you have to like limit test an experiment so like look had we left earlier we would be here now mm -hmm. you took too long your Zara is now fighting she doesn't have you that's it that's in our control so maybe now you're forced into a bad spot you're back in the default versus like this is the view up here you know what i mean yeah i can see that's it's way better it's a, way lot, a lot of value yeah and it doesn't even feel scary. You're like, it's funny if they do this. Yeah. But at the same time, let's say you're up here and you give yourself away early, that Genji would probably dash at you. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you're giving yourself away, what are you giving yourself away for? You know? That comes mm -hmm. with that skill of knowing. And here's the rule of thumb. If a DPS gets to you, don't feel too bad about it. Learn. It's like, okay, now I know mm -hmm. that this threat can do this to me. This guy, I was yeah. thinking about Anza wall climb or da da da. If a tank gets to you, I'd say you're making a big mistake yeah now again you could do it in tension like a hard flank where the, the whole team's coming back together and then you flank and maybe get dove but you hit a five man nade and your team cleans up that's different yeah but in general if you're positioning and the tank's the first thing that gets to you yeah it's a fuck up i mean we had a nice nade just i guess they were kind of hidden still had a nice nade at least they were coming into us Angle's good. Nate's fine. I like that. Yep. She doesn't need all that healing afterwards. You can start thinking about positioning and... Not breaking the room. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, but like for me, I'd be like, okay, I know where they're coming. Look, they're coming this way. Well, yeah. I know a DPS wants to hold this. I don't... You don't have to walk up with him because you'd be in that arrow. It, mm -hmm. I mean, just saying, I was... You know what I mean? Like you're rewarded for being here in the first place. There's no downside. You're helping your team. Yeah. And then you can set up full back. You can do whatever. Even if you wanted to go aggressive here yourself, look for a cheeky nade. See if you can tap somebody in the open and then run away. You know, you'd have to think about who can touch me. And if they're like, oh, Kenji's dead last or whatever, then you can do it, right? Yeah. Again, it really comes down to that sort of thinking. But it all starts with positioning. And the wise. 
If you needed that, that would be pretty bad because they're not in the open. Mm. They're in cover. They're not walking out yet. So, they're like, now they just waited out and they go in and you've aided somebody who is not good at calculating and made them stronger. No, okay, that was that was a lot of value. This, this, the soldier in sliding out was decent value. But, like, but just so you know, you are missing the the people who just crossed in the open. Yeah. You are missing a lot of the times the, the the part where they're actually weak, because like at the beginning you use your cooldown. So I think you mm -hmm. use your cooldown, and if you use your cooldowns, you can't contest space, and then you can't contest space when they're at their weakest point. Yeah. So that's the pattern. So it's happening. So we can look at attack, of course. So that's the defense, right? The defender's advantage is the fact that you don't have to work to take space, and you're already in the like, haha, you have to calculate and you have to, you know, be predictable. Yeah. I'm going to stop you from, I'm going to get you to go all together down the middle path and GG. Yeah. But on attack, it's like, okay, I'm going to find a way in that you guys aren't defending and then break you guys apart. I think I just default here, down the middle. That's weird. I was looking for him. Yeah, I know, but mode. but like it's weird because. Um, let me let me let me put it like this. Maybe you'll feel the same way. So we know the enemy team is up here, mm -hmm. and we know our drunker queens half HP going to fight them. Yeah. So, you know, how do we get value, damage, healing, or repositioning? Okay, she's about to fight them. So if you go rotate here, that's troll. Yeah. Because she needs your heal. Yeah. Or damage, like nade. Both are correct. You do neither. You heal once and then reload. Look. Heal once. Reload. Nade. Oh. You don't, that is you don't spam bad. heal. You're not looking to damage them. And then you tell me why the nade was bad. Based on what, what you know now. I mean, she's she's got the high ground. Uh -huh. Like, the nade is just kind of pointless. I can there just do that with perfect primary. Yeah, perfect. Good job. So... You're doing none, essentially. Mm -hmm. So, and then also uh, with, with yeah. that same scenario, do you think I should have rotated faster and gone with Junker Queen, or no. would have been shooting the shield, damaging them as she rotates, and then nading them all together? No. Just get the info. Like, you'll, you'll know what to do. Like I said, most people do when you have the info. Are all okay. five of them up here staring at her? Probably have to heal her, or... Hit a fat nade or whatever. Or did they all drop down? You know? Well, then you probably feel a bit mm -hmm. better about, like, I'll heal her and I know I don't have to nade her. Yeah. Or whatever, right? So get the information. And that's why, if they're all down here, with what you just said, you'll know not to nade there because you've seen them give the space. Yeah. So get the information. So if you know the fight's going to happen from here to here, and this is the cutoff, how do you, how do you see this? Safely. How do you uh, see left, this? Left side on the stairs, maybe? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, I keep my distance and just walk to the left. Because mm -hmm. now I can like see it. Yeah, here, your hair is even fine. If they have the car or whatever. Like, it's just a bit yeah. to the left. You have a little look. If they're backing away, you can walk up. Or jump on back on here, because you're like, oh, she's they're leaving, so I'll go back to healing her. And then when yeah. she's full, I, you know what I mean? So just get yeah. the information, you'll, you'll see it for yourself. It's like now it's fine, it's fine. Did, you no went to the spot. I, the... I don't know either. So odd. So now your team's walking through, they're taking space. Do you notice how they almost died? Mm -hmm. So maybe Nade is very good to save our teammates when they're almost dying. But we don't yeah. have it because we waste it, right? But like here, mm -hmm. luckily it didn't go wrong. Luckily. So. Okay, now you've like gathered the information. Like the first time in a long time. Mm -hmm. and now she's going in. So like, let's, let's do the thing again. Because you'll see how easy it is, right? If we know our team is okay in general. Yeah. And I'll show you how to combine. Yeah. The, the goal is to combine them. Obviously. Yeah. But like, our team's now rotated through. We needed to heal them. We need to heal the Hanzo. And our Junker Queen's going into the front of them. Yeah. Whatever, right? Like, they're looking like this. So you go like this. Could you tell me, please, a way to get around this 
shield, this arrow. Uh, I need to go right side. Maybe I could like... Yeah, you could. Aid. Yeah, cheeky nade when she drops down. They're not looking. They're all in the open. Mm -hmm. You have a corner there in the open. Pretty easy solution in my opinion. Yeah, that is. You see how I got to that conclusion? Yeah. Cool. Uh, guessing where the fight would be, waiting until my team's... Yeah, your you team's know, okay. They don't, they, yeah, they don't need you anymore. Go rotate. Where do I rotate? There. Yeah. You know? And then at the same time, you know, you could be like, well, Eitan, I can't go sit here and wait because my team's dying. And you're correct, right? Make sure these guys are okay. Posture here. Because you're getting ready to mm -hmm. go here as soon as you can. Turn around. Oh, my Hanzo needs healing? Let me heal him up. He's okay. They're walking in. They're okay. They're okay. They're okay. Now I go. Yeah. And so you're combining your left hand movement with your game knowledge while, you know, getting your checklist done. Da, da, da. That's the it's... end game. So learn the I steps feel first. Like it's kind of, um, kind of like when you time your engages with Tracer. I feel like it's similar. Yeah. With, with every hero for every role. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you're playing, this rule exists. Space is dictated by resources. Yeah. You and your teammates are resources. Doesn't matter what hero you're playing, the rules are the same. It's just how we influence that. What roles we have to do that. How good are we at certain things? Tanks are better at like creating the space. Supports are really good at killing and capitalizing. DPS are insane at killing. But sub supports even do that better. So like, you did, why would you learn different things? It's like, create angles, yeah. get around it, done. You know, there are different confines. Oh, there you go. So the nade angle's worse. You see your teammate dies within the default slider sign. Sign of light. Mm -hmm. And so, that's just because this is the most dangerous area. And the hardest one to kill people. Had that Hanzo been up here or here, he'd be pissed chilling. Yeah. There you go. Like, it's just that easy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I... Just this, is, this is what I'm looking for. Now, I can... I can take that whole like concept and idea and just apply it anywhere on the map no matter what no matter what like I, I would say I have good map knowledge I just don't know how to apply it yeah so, so now I can just apply it anywhere like I know where payload goes I know where the high grounds are I just gotta I've got to draw that imaginary line where's the fight gonna be what angle can I take and then I've just got to make sure you know do we have resources is my team up can I rotate here you know yeah rotate like and if you like and so the thing is the rules always if you have the space and they're dead the answer is yes you should rotate always because mm -hmm. your team will be completely fine they're dead and the same yeah. way on defense they're always completely fine because enemy's dead Go so on. on attack now they're dead so you can set up now mm -hmm. this one's a bit more ambiguous because a couple of them are close but again the way that i solve it is the tank died last so if they choose to push up they're really easy to kill they're all squishies no yeah. tank can stop them so then, yeah, that tells you a lot of info. Which makes Overwatch 2 even easier. There's only one tank. So the tank is that. It's quite literally, there will only be squishies here. There's no way you'll push up. And if they do, kill them. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like, how does your Junker Queen Brig not win this? Like, how? If you're there, I'm sure that, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? They're yeah. like, the Sigma died last. You guys win that space. And you know they're going to go there because they win that space. Mm -hmm. So, I guess as long as one person is on car, usually somebody that can like wall climb or is fast, like Tracer. Like Hanzo yeah. being on cart here is probably better because he can wall climb. You can't. Mm -hmm. Very high risk. No reward. Oh. I mean, they're self-explanatory, but they essentially boil down to everything we've been saying. Yeah. It's essentially like, there's a time that they need you. Maybe you're reloading. Can't do that. It's low value. That's the mm -hmm. high value opportunity you've been waiting for. Same with the Hanzo. So maybe not going for the sleep there and focusing on healing would have caused him to live. Because then if you know mm -hmm. he's going to slam down here and you're like, oh, fuck, I can't see you, right? Shit, I can't yeah. see you here. Why? Instead of something that I'm sleeping, it's like, oh, he's here. Now I can see him the whole way through. Yeah. It's guaranteed safe it's valuable you're outplaying their calculation you're outplaying their you know unlucky cool 
save. So no rock, shield's about to break. I mean, I don't know what your team's doing. I wasn't paying attention. But like, that's what I'd be thinking, right? Like, mm -hmm. is he allowed to do this? Even though, you know, maybe X is dead. Maybe like my teammates are dead. Da, 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 da. Looks like he is in this case. Mm -hmm. Seems like when your teammate is in front of everybody, she needs the help the most. Yeah. So like when I'm watching this back, I like you should be feeling like, what the fuck? Why am I not healing her when she needs me the most? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. So again, you solve it the same way. Were you doing something that was a waste of time? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, here we get saved. Yeah, you're shooting a brick full HP. You're shooting a brick full HP. You have 11 ammo and you reload. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Oh. That's it. Like, now, <laughs> I mean, right? I shock myself sometimes. Yeah. Like, what, what am I doing? Yeah. So, yeah, that was sort of like the everything in this. I mean, there's still so much more to teach and blah, blah, blah. But like, this is the foundation of it all. Yeah. So get this foundation down. And you should be good to go. Then comes the specifics on matchups and don't worry about all that stuff. Just get this foundation down. Mm -hmm. Fix those like, this is low valuable. This doesn't make sense. Or like, why am I using my cooldowns when they're giving space? Like, try to read the room. Whatever it is. Yeah. Use the formula. See where you fall apart 